Hello and welcome to NIJ Newscast where we bring you the day's most interesting stories. Let's take a look at the stories. I'm your host Priyanka Deo and today is Thursday, December 26, 2019. Wi-Fi services will be provided through BharatNet in villages. This will be free until March of 2020. That's according to Union Minister of Telecom and IT, Ravi Shankar Prasad. He said, and I quote, we have already connected 1.3 lakh gram panchayats through BharatNet and our target is to take this to 2.5 lakh. The scheme focuses on empowering the entire village community by providing access to education, health or financial services through a digital medium. At present, 48,000 villages are connected under the BharatNet project and have Wi-Fi access. The solar eclipse began this morning in the Eastern Hemisphere. This could be seen in southern parts of India. It began at approximately 8 a.m. and ended at approximately 1.35 p.m. Now, the solar eclipse, which happens once a year, is when the moon covers the sun's center and leaves the sun's outer diameter to form a ring of fire around the moon. This is the last solar eclipse of the decade. Researchers from Carleton University in Canada found the earliest evidence of four-limbed vertebrates looking after their babies. The researchers discovered an over 300 million year old fossil which portrayed a 20 centimeter long lizard-like animal with its tail wrapped around its young one. Experts state that this prolonged care can be seen across a wide range of animals, especially mammals, because they produce milk for their young. Now, This behavior helps offspring survive but comes at a cost to parents who must invest time, energy and resources. According to researchers, the fossil predates the previous oldest record by 40 million years. The first university for the transgendered community will be opened in Uttar Pradesh. The university will facilitate students to study from class 1 to doing research and earning a PhD. An MLA of the area said that members of the community will get an education and will be able to give a new direction to the country. One member of the university said, and I quote, I am happy that we will be able to get educated and get respect in the society. Education has power and I'm sure it will not only change our lives but also the lives of others. Cricket commentator Harsha Bogle sent a strong message with regards to the Citizenship Amendment Act. Both the protesters and supporters of the act have taken to the streets to voice their opinions. Bogle said that the government should listen to what youth have to say. He said, and I quote, My India isn't broken. It's full of vibrant young people doing amazing things. And that's all the stories we have for today. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to like and share it with your friends and family. Also, be sure to leave a comment below because I want to know your opinion on these stories. And most importantly, please subscribe to New India Junction. With that being said, we'll see you next time on NIJ Newscast. Till then, this is Priyanka Deo. Thank you.